purple on the side of it. That metal is really hot, so just be careful. I mean, no eating fire. That's illegal. And now we have a, another little fire area up on this little perch on the deck. So there's several layers to this deck and this one kind of a more secluded area kind of overlooks the, the valley. And this is a, it's called a turbo by Fireside. This is an R19 portable fire pit. It actually has a carrying case and everything. You can take it around with you, but it nests all back down within itself. But you'll notice how clean it's burning. This thing is amazing. It actually, it actually draws in air underneath and it feeds the bottom of the fire a little bit, but there's also a double, a double wall around the edges here. So it draws up air through holes in the bottom of this. So air comes through here, it draws it up the sides, and then it, it comes in through those holes along the edge. And it just feeds the, the top layer of that fire where all that smoke normally is. It creates kind of a secondary burn chamber. So it's burning uh, almost 95% of the smoke coming off this thing. So it's really nice and clean burning, nice and self-contained. And we've, we have several fire pits on our wooden deck and we got some of these little paving stones from a friend who was cleaning up his yard. I brought them home and cleaned them up and these work perfectly. Uh, these are a little thicker. I think these are two inches thick. Uh, the other ones we have were just an inch thick or maybe inch and a half and uh, we could probably go a little a little wider to give a little more space on this in case like a hot coal falls off the top but there's barely any heat that's going to be you know it's almost I mean this is all cool to the touch. So there's really not much heat at the bottom of this. Obviously you don't want to leave it unattended. You know, coal spits out or something and sits on the deck and burns your house down. But so normal fire precautions are still necessary, but this works just fine um, on a wooden deck. And so, so we actually have this fire pit here now, and then we have one on the larger uh, part of our deck. It's a little bigger. We got that one at Home Depot. And that fire bowl has a a screen cover that goes over it so it's a spark arrestor it helps keep sparks from flying out and that one works really well um, we've had some really good sized fires going in that fire pit over there and uh, that one doesn't burn quite as nice as this one does it's, but it's a little bigger more decorative and uh, they work fine uh, on the on the deck so we've never had an issue and that's been there for uh, this is going on the second season and we use it quite often out there on the deck and I actually removed all those paving stones from underneath the, the other one uh, after a year of using it. And there's no damage to the deck. You know, it's not, no, nothing's burnt, nothing's hot uh, or anything like that. And, and it's been, uh, been working really well. Where's your stick? Oh. What are you talking about? Oh. Owie. Uh oh. <laughs> this might be the best marshmallow I've ever cooked. Oh, oh sad. No, this is perfect. So sad. I'll roast this one too. Mm. I finally found a fire pit that doesn't smoke. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty miraculous actually. It burns as long as you keep the wood below the the surface, below the the level here. If it's inside this pot. Uh, you don't get any smoke at all. It reburns everything. It's nice and hot. It's perfect for roasted marshmallows and even cooking over, uh, but also just to sit around. It's just a lot nicer when, you know, you have a gentle breeze and you, you know, what happens when you're sitting around the fire is somebody always gets smoke in their face. Then you move somewhere else and the smoke changes, you know, the wind changes a little bit, smoke gets in your face again. And it's never any fun to sit around a fire uh, trying to run away from smoke. So just something I thought was pretty cool I wanted to share with you guys, the Smokeless Fire Pit. Uh, check it out, I'll throw a link in the description as always. This is available over on Amazon, so go check it out. They're not that expensive and portable, so pretty neat. Take it to the beach, take it with you camping. Um, be a really great camping fire, actually. So let me know what you guys think. Love to hear your comments, uh, feedback. Let me know uh, if you guys have had experience with one of these, what you guys think, or even just what you think of the idea. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video, and as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.